Along Highway 101, a giant stands tall in a mysterious section of Del Norte County's Redwood Forest. And no, I'm not talking about the trees. This giant is a legend in this area. And if you visit him between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., the giant might just talk to you. Oh, hey, Paul. Hey, how you doing, bud? I'm doing, I'm doing well. The friendly giant is Paul Bunyan, and he lives in the trees of mystery with his faithful sidekick, Babe the Blue Ox. <laughs> oh, yeah, t tell me again, why, why is Babe blue? Uh, Paul found him up in the mountains during a uh, snowstorm, mm -hmm. and he had been frozen solid and turned blue. A giant logger and a blue ox is just the beginning of the mysteriousness at the Trees of Mystery. Walk inside the gates and you'll find a lineup of odd characters. These are various people that were in the logging camp. Jack the Back, uh, Red Thumb Robbie, who planted so many redwood trees his thumb turned red. Tall statues and wood carvings are sort of the sideshow here. If you want to see the real mysteries of this place, just follow tour guide and manager Jennifer Gunther. This is a massive tree in the middle of a, a bunch of smaller trees here. Yes, I think that the loggers are probably just intimidated. The giant and odd-looking trees inside this nature-themed attraction has been luring tourists to the area since 1946. My grandfather was in the war. When he got back, he didn't want to live in San Francisco anymore. He wanted to get out in nature. After purchasing the property, which was an old logging site in Klamath, California, Jennifer's grandparents, Ray and Marley Thompson, discovered a strange growing pattern in many of the remaining trees. So these roots have kind of grown out, and as you can see, it looks like two elephants, if you use your imagination. What started out as a walking tour through the property soon turned into a Redwood-themed amusement park. Where does this take us here? This is um, to Ted's Ridge. Instead of looking up at the trees, the Sky Trail offers visitors a unique look down. The hills up here are very different. They're, they're wider and flatter, and that is so they can catch the water from the fog and the rain. Once you're at the top of the Sky Trail, you get a nice look at the misty redwood forest. On a clear day, you can see the ocean and the park's oldest redwood, the Brotherhood Tree. They think maybe even 3,000 years old, honestly. Um, they've climbed it. Um, they found all kinds of different animals. There's a bat cave in the middle. There's like salamanders and these little land crabs growing up in the top canopy. Land crabs? It really moves there, doesn't it? The newest attraction in the park is the Canopy Trail, which is essentially a series of high-flying rope bridges. A really, this had to have been a really experienced tree fort builder. <laughs> Tremendous is the company who did it, yes. Treehouse construction company Tremendous also allowed us to use their drone video so that everyone who's afraid of heights could experience the Canopy Trail without walking it. We are, how, how far are we up right now? About 100 feet from the trail down there. Woo. Thank you for joining us here at Trees and Mysteries. Well, I don't want to ruin all the mysteries of this place, so if you're still curious, you can ask Paul Bunyan about them yourself. From the Trees of Mystery, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road. <laughs>